Hey, I'm Craig, and today for the Surfboard Guide, we're gonna check out the Twinsman by Album Surfboards. So the Twinsman I'll be riding is a 5.8, and it comes in at 5.8 by 19 7 8 2 and 7 16 and it's roughly 32.5 liters. So for those unfamiliar with the Twinsman, um, it's somewhat the Asher Pacey Pro model, uh, since he came onto Album Surfboards after riding for DHG for a long time. Um, and it's kind of, I guess, a high performance twin fin. Probably now I've surfed a bit more, I'd say it's for all conditions. So looking over it, um, you can see there, it actually has a quite a bit of volume and a really full rail. I don't know if you can see, but I think I said in the initial thoughts clip I had a flat deck. I think it actually has a very lightly concave deck. So what that kind of means, and then it has this rail that just drops away right on the edge. If you see up closely there, it holds all that volume um, right to the edge and then it drops away. People actually made some comments about my waxing saying it was really nice to this straight edge and it was because I didn't want to wax over where that rail dropped away. It didn't make any sense to me. Um, so what that does, it holds a lot of volume under the chest all the way to the rail and then it just pops away. So you have a nice kind of fine rail, like a, like a normal kind of rail, um, nothing too crazy. And under the foot, that feels pretty normal. Nothing, you know, really difficult to get used to or anything like that. Uh, looking over it, a little bit of rocker, nothing crazy. Bit of lift through the nose, um, you know, kind of on the higher end, I guess, for a twin fin, but nothing crazy. Uh, fall quite nicely through the bottom with the rocker and everything. And then coming through the bottom, what was a little bit unique, uh, and I also said in that initial thoughts clip, which I think I struggled with it in the smaller waves, it has a light double concave through the front. Not too aggressive or crazy, but some people, myself included, can sometimes struggle with double concaves under the front foot uh, in like lesser conditions. Uh, and that double comes through the fins and it's just gentle out the back. Kind of feels like a bit of a V off the back, but I think it's just that double continuing out the back of the board. Um, so since our initial thoughts clip, been surfing the Twinsman in like a whole variety of conditions. I think I said then that it was kind of a board for a twin fin for good waves, uh, and I'll stick by that. If you want something for like, you know, four to kind of six foot and you want to ride a twin fin, this thing's amazing. It has all the capability and performance of a short board, uh, but in a nice little twin fin package. Uh, but what I did struggle with it a bit initially was in small and average waves. You see so many people going, oh, it's crap, it's small, it's summer, I'm going to grab a twinny. Uh, it's not always the case. Twin fins are actually kind of designed for decent waves uh, and definitely this one. But I did get it to grovel and I kind of worked it out. Uh, what I struggled with in the small and average conditions, this double under my front foot, I've always kind of struggled a little bit with double concaves um, that start up the front. You know, doubles through the fin, really very common. But up the front, I always found them a little bit sticky and I found this was the same. But just finding out exactly where my foot was, moving my foot around in smaller and average waves, uh, I could get the board to work and it was really good. But it is more of like kind of a, you know, a high performance twin and it was something I was pretty keen to grab in waves. So, you know, chest kind of head high and above uh, or you know in that kind of chest range and waves were good and clean and fun like you know uh, asher pacey and josh kerr who ride the board uh, a lot uh live up at snapper you know what i mean i can imagine you know kind of chest high to head high snapper rocks uh this thing would just be phenomenal what it is i guess with that you've got this flat deck um which is a lightly concave deck it holds this volume under your chest so what you do is you're getting into waves really easy. Like there's a lot of paddle power. Um, you know, there's no wasted foam. So yeah, people get so fixated on leader ridge and stuff. Um, you know, it's a great guide and stuff, we always say, but this has no wasted foam in it. Like everything kind of has a purpose and it's in all the right spots. So what I found, it was a board that would paddle really, really well. I'd be getting into like steeper, suckier and bigger waves nice and early. And then that foam under your foot, you know, your front and your back foot, just getting down the line, it was pretty effortless. Like really fast, uh, heaps of flow. And that was in, you know, conditions that were small and big. Um, but like I said, not something I'd really grab for like kind of one to two foot junk. Uh, but once it gets a little bit bigger or a little bit better, uh, this thing is phenomenal. Like if you're looking at waves that you'd be surfing your high performance shortboard in, um, there's probably nothing in that range that this can't do as a twin fin. Um, also, I guess with the design, you have a pretty straight rail edge um, that kind of from here, it's fairly straight. And then as you see at the back there, it has a really nice bump where it pulls into a nice narrow and tighter tail. I really noticed that when surfing, it would have this really straight feeling kind of rail. And I've got a few um, pressures that are kind of up high from moving my foot up. But then when I actually wanted to get in a turn and get it to turn in a more critical part of the way or do a shorter and steeper turn, you could really feel that moving your foot back, it got you off that straight long rail, um, that rail line and onto this much snappier and shorter um, tail and you could do these much shorter, you know, circumference kind of smaller turns in, in tighter and steeper parts of the wave. So that felt absolutely amazing. I guess it felt like um, 
you know, standing up high on it with that long rail line and having your foot maybe more up the board, you could really kind of get some kind of high line trims up, uh, get some speed up and this really nice, you know, it felt good just going down the line with a bit of pace and a bit of flow uh, without even doing a turn. But then when you wanted to kind of jump back, you get your foot back right here, you know, over the fins, which is really important, but also where this, you know, this little flyer kind of bump pulls into this tight tail. And it was almost like a different board. You got this longer feeling board that would just snap into this shorter and tighter and much more of a performance board. Uh, and that was amazing. Uh, the Twinsman, you know, like I said, we've had Asher Pacey, Josh Kerr, and a whole bunch of different kind of pros riding it. But it isn't a board that should kind of like signal anyone out. I think almost anyone could ride the Twinsman. Uh, it's not a board for pro surfers. It's not a board for people that are amazing surfers. I think it's really for anyone. Uh, anyone that can surf, can stand up, go down the line, you know, wants a high performance twin fin, uh, don't be afraid of it. Like I said, it's got foam in all the right places, super easy to surf, uh, and it's gonna go well in waves, you know, chest height to well overhead. You know, chatting with the guys at Album, they're kind of saying, you know, there's not much the Album Twinsman can't do, especially when it gets a little bit bigger. Um, but if, if you follow Album, their socials and all that sort of stuff, you'd see they've also put like a round tail version. So some people are getting them a little bit longer, uh, river round tail, and it's kind of like a step up thing, you know, it's not something you go and chase like massive 10 foot plus swells on, but you know, solid days at Snapper or your local breaks or whatever, uh, the Twinsman can definitely handle that. Um, in the initial thoughts, we spoke a lot about fins and I had the Rasta Twins uh, in the upright and people made some recommendations, so thank you so much for that. You know, we checked out the Aper Twin Fin, the T1, the ENs, um, but I came back to the Rasta. It felt really, really good. You know, the T1s felt good when it was a little bit bigger uh, and the waves had a lot of push, but the, um, the Rastas actually have a speed generating foil. So when it was in the smaller stuff, uh, these felt amazing in the small stuff and they didn't feel out of place in the bigger stuff either. So if I was gonna say one set of fins for the Twinsman, um, from my recommendations, uh, the Rastas are perfect. They have a really nice gentle flex. You know, the ENs felt a little bit too stiff. They're a really solid glass fin and they're epic in some boards, um, but they're really, really, really stiff. And the T1s by Futures, they're actually on the other end. They're quite a soft fin. They're, they're very similar to the MR, um, not a huge template. And they sometimes work better with a stabilizer in the middle. But as you can see, there's no offering of a stabilizer. It's a pure twin. Uh, and the Rastas felt perfect. Good flex, speed generating foil, uh, and just enough surface area to keep this board the hold and everything I needed um, to surf it. Look, overall, the Twinsman has been um, absolutely epic. Like I said, so many people grab twin fins going, oh, I want one for crappy or small waves or for summer. Yeah, this could be a fun summer board, but it's also something that's gonna handle like, you know, some solid, good or kind of chunky or heavier conditions. It paddles well, it has speed down the line. Uh, you can get a lot of speed and pace going up down the line. But like I said, you jump on that tail and you've got this, you know, this really sh short circumference. We can do some really high performance surfing and turns. Um, you know, I'd love to see, you see Asher in that, Josh Kerr just blowing up on it. I've heard that Taj Burrows recently got one of these. So it'd be epic to see someone, you know, one of the best high performance surfers, you know, over the last few um, decades, get on something like this and see what he can do. Cause you know, I, I feel like this was kind of limitless. Like, you know, I'm limited by my surfing ability, which isn't great. Um, but to see someone like that, who's a phenomenal surfer, get in something like this would be absolutely epic. Look, overall, Twinsman has been one of the best boards I've ridden, especially for a twin fin, in a long time. Uh, like I said, there wasn't much you, could, you couldn't do. And if you're looking for a twin fin that's possibly a one board quiver, the Twinsman could be it. Thanks so much for watching.